state-of-the-art DNA testing on the ancient Philistine bones showed they came from Europe more than 3,000 years ago. We've been able to demonstrate for the first time that the Philistines were immigrants to the region of Philistia. Ancient Philistia was located along the modern-day southern coast of Israel and Gaza. Archaeologist Daniel Master headed the Leon Levy expedition to Ashkelon. In the 13th and 12th century, empires collapsed. Indeed, much of civilization collapsed. And when people woke up 100 years later, the world was very different. One of the groups that people noticed were the Philistines. Master said the DNA confirmed what they already believed. From the early 20th century, people noticed that the styles of pottery that they were finding in the area called Philistia by the writers of the Hebrew Bible were similar to pottery that was found in Greece just 100 years earlier. And people started to draw the connection that perhaps this pottery indicated some connection between these two groups of people. Ashkelon was one of five big Philistine cities. The Philistines lived there for about 600 years. The Philistines appear in the Hebrew Bible as one of the great enemies of the Israelites. But where did they come from? In the Bible, there's a mention that the Philistines came from Kaphtor. This is a mention in Amos, many centuries after we think the Philistines arrived. This place was probably related to Crete. The cemetery, discovered in 2013, is dated from the 11th to the 8th century BC. And how do we tell the story of people who can't speak for themselves, that haven't left behind written texts? We can look at the scraps and the garbage that they've left behind. We can look at what other people said about them during the time period. But the DNA actually gave us an opportunity to let these people speak for themselves. Archaeologist Adam Aja said the DNA showed that even though the Philistines kept their culture physically, genetically, they eventually blended in with the locals. The discovery of the cemetery and the analysis of the bones definitively revealed that this population came from away and then slowly integrated into the local population. The Philistines disappeared during the 6th century BC when the biblical king Nebuchadnezzar conquered the region. He destroyed Ashkelon and other cities at the time, shortly before the Judeans were exiled to Babylon, as described in the Bible. Julie Stahl, CBN News, Jerusalem.